Lord from Adventist home. But before we start, let us pray to begin. Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before your presence once more, we want to give you thanks and praise first and foremost for life and able to be here once again. And as we present this before you today, I pray that these words would not only resonate, would not only apply to us, but to everyone that will hear these words. I pray that these words will allow us to change our life it is if it affects us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So as I said before, section 9, Father, the house ban. The home is an institution of God. God designs that the family circle, father and mother, should exist in the world as a firm. The work of making home happy does not rest upon the mother alone. Father have an important part to act. The husband is the husband of the home treasures, binding his strong earn de devoted affection the members of the household, mother and children together in the strongest bonds of union. His name, the husband, is the true definition of husband. I saw that, but few fathers realize their responsibilities. The head of the family firm, the husband and the father is the head of the household. The wife looked to him for love, sympathy, and for aid in the training of the children. And this is right. The children are his as well as hers, and he is equally in interested in their welfare. The children look to the father for support and guidance. He needs to have a right conception of life and of his influence and of his association. Now, we look at this and we realize that the last word that was said was association. So fathers has to be very careful of who he associates himself with, who he brings around his family, because those persons can influence, especially the children in your family can also influence your wife if they are not grounded. So we have to be careful who we bring around our family as associates. They should not be permitted to overshadow his family. He... That should surround his family. Above all, he should be controlled by the love and the fear of God and by the teaching of his words that he may guide the feet of his children in the right way the father should be the father should do his part toward making home happy whatever his cares and business perplexes they should not be permitted to overshadow his family. He should not enter his home. He should enter his home with smile and pleasant words. So it's saying that um, so when the husband comes in the home, he should not be angry. He should have smiles and he should let his family have smiles too. Okay. No. The lawmaker and the priest, all members of the family, enter in the Father. He is the lawmaker, illustrating in his own manly tears and stern virtue, energy, integrity, honesty, patience, courage, diligence, and practical usefulness. The father is in one sense the priest of the household, laying upon the altar of, of God the morning and the evening 
the wife and children should be encouraged to unite in his uh, this offering and so to engage the engage in the song of praise morning and evening the father as priest of the household should confess to God the sins committed by himself and his children throughout the day. Okay, so here we see where a lot is placed on the father as well as the mother. But we just said the father is the priest. So he should bear the sins that he takes to God. <laughs> so if we have fathers here who are not taking up their responsibility, I encourage you to do so. Speaking, starting from me to begin with. So, where is it? Verse 6. Those sins which have come to this, to his knowledge, and also those which are secret, of which God's eyes alone has taken cognizance, should be confessed. This rule of action, zealous carried out by the father when he present or by the mother when he is absent. So there we see that the mother has a part to play in it. But we need to step up to the plate as fathers and make sure that we're there to have this. Because as it said, all blessings come to us as the head of the family. So we need to be there. Okay? Say that your most of your blessing will not come. It will, it will, it will come harder because we all want riches of blessings, and based on the reading and what it's saying, the riches of the blessing comes through the Father. As long as He's there, it also said, if the Father is absent, 
the mother offers the sacrifice. If the father is not there. But if he All is right. there. But, 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 um, right. So how, how long will the mothers have to be offering the sacrifice in the stead of the fathers? Uh, once again, as long as the father is there, as long as he is present, all sacrifice go through him to God. If he is absent, if he is absent, we have families that are without father. And it says, absent. Yeah, once he's absent, the mother takes it. Where is um, If I may say something. Um, I'm saying um, that as mothers, um, many times for me, my family, my husband is not home by time, it's worship time. So I have to do it and I'm doing it until when he's there, he takes charge. So if the, the, the father is not living up to that responsibility, then the mother has to do it and continue to pray until God turned that husband back to the family. That's what we have to do. 